Hello everyone, my name is Ryan and this is a tutorial on setting up Fedora 30 for gaming. Now this video is going to cover installing and enabling Wine, Lutris, Feral Game Mode, Steam Proton and the latest Nvidia graphics driver. So the first step with this process is to actually update the system. Now there's actually two ways of doing this. You can either do it through the terminal or GNOME software. Although personally I find that the terminal method is better as sometimes if there's several updates you may actually need to update the GNOME software uh, store first. Now this can actually prevent you from updating the system overall and it is actually something that I experienced when I first installed F Fedora. So let's open up a terminal, put that center there and if we type in the following command which is a sudo dnf and then update. Type in your password and effectively what this will do is it will search through all the repositories and see if there's any updates for the entire system. And if there are, then obviously you get a message to install them. Uh, in my particular case, there isn't because everything's up to date. Now, I also do recommend as a good practice to reboot if you have actually installed a huge amount of system updates, as some of them may be pending on a uh, system boot reboot anyway. Okay, so the second step is to install the latest versions of Wine. Uh, again, we're going to do this through the terminal. So if we type in sudo dnf again, and then install wine. Now, this will actually install the latest version of wine in the staging branch, uh, which is what I recommend when using wine with games, as it does tend to contain more recent patches and game fixes. So we're going to press Y to confirm that, and it's going to start the process of downloading everything. So take a couple of minutes depending on your system of course. Okay so the process is now complete. Uh, on a related note if you ever actually want to check what version of wine is installed you can actually type in the following which is uh, wine space dash dash and then a version. So in my case it's, it's 5.4 and it's the staging branch. So the next step is to install Lutris and uh, obviously Lucius has a dependency on Wine which is why we installed Wine first. So if we type in the following which is sudo dnf install and you guessed it Lutris. And again it'll search through and install the latest version of Lutris. So why to confirm that? Uh, it doesn't take too long to install Lutris. In fact there we go. Incredibly quickly. Right, so the next step is to actually install Steam and enable Proton. Now we will eventually install this using the terminal, but first we need to actually enable the Steam repository in GNOME software. So if we go to Activities, open up GNOME software, and you want to choose the option here where it says System Repositories. And once this loads up in a second, you want to make sure that this option here the RPM Fusion for Fedora 31 non-free Steam is enabled. So in my case it already is, so let's close that down. And this time we're going to type in sudo dnf install, and you guessed it, Steam. Let's press Y to that. Okay, so if we now go to activities, go to applications, let's find Steam. And it's now going to connect. Uh, there may be an update, but in my case it's already installed it. So that's fine. Uh, I've also previously st signed into Steam as well. So to enable Proton for all your games, you go to the top here where it says Steam, Settings, Steam Player. And you want to make sure that this option here where it says enable Steam Player for all of the titles is, is ticked. And of course there you choose your default version of Proton. So once you've done that, exit out Steam. And on next boot, or next time you load into Steam, you'll be able to enable Proton for all the games in your library. So we're next going to install a Feral Game Mode and actually enable it for both Steam games and Lutris games. So if we go to sudo dnf install game mode again press y when you get prompted oh, in my particular case this is already installed so that's fine 
I think it does come pre-installed with Fedora, come to think of it. But if it doesn't, you know, here's the option to install it anywhere. So if we go back to Steam, so just be a second or so. Now to enable game mode with with uh, any game in your library, if you right click on any of them, doesn't matter. So if we go to Borderlands 3, go to properties, click on set launch options, and as long as you've got the following command, which is game mode run, and followed by a percentage sign and then the word command and then a close percentage sign this game will run with game mode so now we've done that we can just close it down as normal and we're going to do the same thing for Lutris so if we go to applications find Lutris open it up and if we go to the top corner here click on the little icon go to preferences system options and as long as you've got enable feral game mode enabled, then anything launched via Lutris will run with game mode. Alternatively, if you find that it isn't, you can force it to run by adding the words game mode run into this command prefix here. So obviously click save once done. And there you go, you've set up game mode to work with both Steam and Lutris. So the final step is to install the latest NVIDIA GPU driver. Now, Fedora 31 by default will actually use Wayland as its display server, which has problems working with NVIDIA hardware. So I strongly recommend logging into a session that uses Xorg instead. So I'll show you how you do that. So if you go to the top here, go to your user account, click log out, and obviously log out. And before we sign in, if you click the icon here that looks a bit like a gear, You've got an option of three. You've got GNOME, which uses Wayland, GNOME Classic, which uses Wayland, or there's GNOME on Xorg. You want to choose the latter option here. Type in your password, and then sign in as normal. Now, while that's just loading up, I will note that uh, there are several guides on the internet that will actually explain how to install the latest NVIDIA driver on Fedora but many of them will end up bricking your system as they're either out of date or the instructions are just plain wrong. So for that reason, I will link to the official RPM Fusion method below, which is the one I'm going to show you now, and I've never had a problem using this method. So the first thing we need to do is open GNOME software again. Again to software repositories, and this time make sure that RPM Fusion for Fedora 31 non-free NVIDIA driver is enabled. So once we've done that, we can close it down. Let's go back to our terminal. And we're going to install all the NVIDIA components with one command, which is sudo dnf install akmod-nvidia. Type in the password. and it will search through and find all the components we need. So press Y to confirm. And there you go, it's run through and installed and everything. So yeah, shouldn't take too long. Okay, so once done, we just need to restart the system, which sudo reboot. So with that, you've successfully set up Fedora for Gaming, and it actually brings the end of this video. So as always, thank you very much for watching, and if you did find this video helpful, please do like the video, and of course if you haven't already, subscribe to this channel for more content like this. Thank you again, and I'm sure I'll see you next time. Goodbye!